Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how you can bass boost the audio coming out of your PC or laptop. And this is going to be work to work on all devices, should work on all operating systems as well. Um, anyways, it's going to be really, really simple. The cool thing is also is that by after, like with clicking two buttons, you can either turn on or off your bass boost. Um, so if you want to listen to some music, you can easily turn it on in like 10 seconds. And then if you want to listen to a YouTube video, you can turn it off again um, in two seconds. This will also work um, when you have... Um, things plugged into your laptop, for example, a headset, earphones, anything like that. Anyways, you want to head over to the description, probably, since that's where I've put this link. Um, this is for the Equalizer APO, um, and the Equalizer APO will allow us to run this base booster. This is not the base booster, this is a program which is going to allow us to run it. Um, if you don't exactly understand how that works, then maybe you've played Minecraft before, which I'm just going to use as an example. And you might know that if you want to install certain mods for Minecraft, you're going to need um, stuff like Forge or Paper or um, other things like that to allow you to run those mods. And this is the same thing. We're going to need a program, and the base booster is built off of this program, and this program is just going to allow us to run it. Anyways, we can go over to download over here, um, and then it's going to tell you that your download will begin shortly, and it just should start downloading. Anyways, in your downloads, you should be able to see this, it's the Equalizer APO right over here. It's only 8 megabytes, so it's absolutely fine to download. Anyways, you can double click on that and then it's going to prompt you the setup. So you can just click on next, I agree, next, and then on install. And as you can see, it's basically already installed. Um, for this, you can just tick all of these. Um, if you want, you, you don't have to tick all of them, um, just tick whichever of the ones you need. Um, then just click on OK over here, and then you will need to actually reboot your device, um, and then this thing will be set up. Alright, if you've um, rebooted your computer, um, and then you know the program is going to work, you won't notice anything different, nothing is going to be different, um, the program is now installed, and that brings us on to the good part. Now we can go back into here, there's going to be a second link in the description for the Peace Equalizer. Um, and this is exactly what we are going to need um, and this is uh, the software which is going to allow us to bass boost our audio so once again we can download that just like so um, and then it's going to start downloading in a few seconds then in your downloads you should see piece setup.exe that's exactly what we want so you can once again double click on that. Um, as you can see, it asks if the Equalizer APO is installed. Because we've installed that, it says yes installed over here. Um, and now this is fine. We can just click on install right over here. We can click on yes and it's been installed. So and now that it's been installed, we can open up the Windows Start menu, and as you can see, this is it right over here. It's called Peace. Um, this is the icon. You should be able to find it in your Apps section as well. Um, anyways, once you've done that, you can um, make it as an icon on your desktop or in your taskbar, wherever, or you can just access it through here. Anyways over here that's only gonna pop up the first time um, so you have a simple interface or a full interface I'm just gonna launch it in the full interface right now um, so then you can see exactly what everything is okay here we have it this is the full interface if it's a bit confusing then you know just take the um, more simple interface anyways um, this is going to control the um, the audio of your computer. 
I'll explain it a bit more later, but first I'm going to go through what you want to do if you want to keep it really simple, really easy, or how you can fully customize it after that. Anyways, um, all the way down in the bottom left over here, we've got a few presets. So we've got the 7-1 setup. This is just a normal setup. Um, as you can see, all these sliders are in the middle, um, and this is just how your audio normally sounds. You can add a bass and high boost. It's just going to restart, and then there you go. Now we've got that set up. Um, you can just have a regular bass boost. Yeah, bass boost number two. You know, all these uh, different types of things. You can have high boosts. Um, the reason you probably clicked on this video is for the bass boosts. So, you know, you can do these, get these bass boosts through here. Or you can also adjust things yourself, change these sliders around, mess with your audio. The cool thing is, is that this updates in real time. So you can just listen to whatever music you want to listen to while sliding on these sliders. And then you should just be able um, to hear your music change and get it as you like. Um, that's what these sliders do and stuff like that. And then you also have here, um, these are your speakers. So you have a speaker on the left, right, center. Um, left rear, right rear, left side, right side, etc. Um, this is going to be more useful if you have headphones on or something like that because then you actually have more like, you know, right rear, right left rear, stuff like that, speakers. Um, so you can change the direction of where the sound is coming from. You can make your sound harder or softer. Um, and now this is an, this is actually um, a boost to your sound um, which has nothing to do with your sound so currently my sound is on zero if I were to put my sound on 10 um, well let, let's say I were to do that yeah well then um, I can slide this all the way down it'll be much softer or I can slide it all the way up and it'll be much louder um, but the cool thing is if I've got my sound on 100% normally then it's just gonna sound like when I put the slider in the middle but I can make my sound even higher than 100% if I also put the slider up. Um, so you can make your sound even higher than it can usually be. Or if you're one of those people like me who might watch like YouTube or stuff at night. <laughs> um, and like the lowest sound is still too loud. You can make your sound even softer than you want. Um, so yeah, that's uh, all of that. Um, you can just mess around with this, maybe look up a few other tutorials on this if you want to. Um, you can click on save over here. Um, this You don't have to do that to actually save the configuration like this, but you can do that to um, save this as a preset. So you can call this um, smiley face, for example, um, and then you can save it. And now I should have the smiley face thing in here somewhere, or we will have once I reload the program. Um, and then you can change it again, and then save this as something else. Yeah, and um, you can do that as many times as you want. Make as many of these presets as you want as well. Anyways, if you have any questions, make sure to leave those down in the comments below. But for right now, that's everything. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.